What's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about doing a top end in your, your KTM two-stroke. This applies to a 250 or a 300 model. Um, this one here, this piston was all scored up, and we had to send the cylinder out and get it replated, um, get it fixed back up to new. So we got a new piston for it, and we'll go over cleaning up some of these power valve parts and then uh, assembling it back into your cylinder. All right, so we've got this cylinder back from getting plated. Um, it's very important to go through and clean out all the threads all the bolt holes um, from when they bead blast these before they replate them and blow air through all the passages as well make sure there's no debris left in any of it before we start assembling and then you can start uh, putting the o-rings back on it um, there's two o-rings go on each side here just take some uh, some sealant o-ring grease here so this just helps everything move freely upon setup I'll just you know, drop that in place for now. And these little rollers here go on each side. You're going to want them to be clean as well. Same thing here. Put a little, little grease on the inside of there so it helps them roll and you can slide them on. Get that in there and just make sure that part moves freely. Then what we're going to do after that is we'll start installing these side valves. Same thing here if they're carboned up, get all your carbon off of them. Um, they do matter if it goes on the left or right side. Like this one has an L stamped in it for the for the left side, and the right side one doesn't have anything. Same thing here, a little grease on that O-ring. Slide in here. Alright, so once you have both of those in, just make sure they move freely in there. Set these covers on. These are the keeper plates that hold all this stuff together. Um, it's also a good idea to lock tight those. So then again, you want to make sure all your bolts are clean here. Don't have no oil on them. Just spray them off a little cleaner. Just put a little dab of blue Loctite on each of them. Set them in there. Screw them in. You don't want to give them like the full tight right now. Just get them kind of snug until we get everything lined up here. Same on the other side. So make sure that that is still smoothing, moving freely. Um, we're going to install the gears here. This is what opens and closes your power valve. And these have to be timed with each other. So when the flap is closed, this port is closed. So when it's open, they're both open. So they open close together. For installation purposes, sometimes it's a lot easier to hold, hold the flap open and line up the port make sure it's open inside of there and we'll set this on here get the gears lined up all right so once you get that on there it'll look similar to that you make sure your flaps open and then that port is open in there and then kind of hold it on there and, and twist it down make sure this is down and then that's all the way closed you can't see any any air in there We'll take the bolt here, clean it off. Put Loctite on it as well. And 
And same thing, just get it tight, we don't, don't snug it down right now. Just make sure everything's still working, still timed correctly. Um, and if you take this other plate off, you have to mess with, this is a stopper, so you have to make sure this is stopping when it touches the plate and everything's closed, or your, your timing can be off for open and closing on the power valve. Um, we'll move over here to the other side. Same thing here, make sure the flap's up, our valve is open. Set that on there, snap it in place, and make sure it's open and closing like it's supposed to, so when it's down, both ports are closed, and when it's up, they're both open. So if you got that right, and you got, her, got it set right. This side's a little trickier with the spring. Same thing, Loctite also. I found it's easier to kind of get the bolt started a little bit. The way the spring sets, the longer piece sets on the top side here. Um, this shorter piece is going to go over this pin. So I found it's easy to get the bolt started a little bit. And then take something and try that spring back to the other side there. Spring will get to the other side like that. And you can run it down. And just get it snug. Don't tighten it up right now. Double check your timing. I keep saying that, but it can pop off really easy and then you can put it all the way back together and not know that it's wrong. Um, so double check everything. Make sure it's working freely like it should. So then we'll put the cover on. Just want to make sure all the old silicone's off. It's dry, no oil, same with both surfaces. And they can be carboned up and just clean it all off as well. Um, so what I'll do is I'll spray some cleaner on the rag and wipe it down and just have a nice, good mating surface. So then once you have that ready to go, just take your four O-rings that go in here, set them in place. Have your bolts ready to go. You can just use just clear, clear RTV silicone for this. Doesn't need nothing special. Um, just go through here and get it all on the mating surface. Once you do that, we'll just go back around, and smooth it all out, and make sure it's all it's all covered equally all the way across. Then we'll just stick it back on our flange here. Put that on there. And your bolts for the pipe springs go, go goes here on each side, and the longer ones go up here. And we'll just go through here and screw those down. tighten these down just do a crisscross pattern on it and once you get all those snug and again check check this again make sure it's working freely everything's still lined up all the stuff is still good to go um, so we'll go through and give a final tighten on everything the loctite is real important on these you don't want them falling out because um, that I have seen that happen on bikes before it doesn't really cause any major damage but living in your bike just won't run right it'll kind of mess up a little bit um, so get those tight both sides and then once you do that you're ready to put your cylinder back on your bike and get her back together thanks for stopping by today guys and we'll see you next time we do some more tech tips